Question number 22. We are told the gradient function of a curve is given by the expression uh, 2x plus 1. If the curve passes through the point minus 4, 6, find the equation of the curve. Now, what you say is that uh, uh, that is Roman number 1. We say dy over dx is equal to uh, we are given it is 2x plus 1. That is a gradient function. So it means to get y is equal to you integrate 2x uh, plus uh, <coughs> 1. And this is with, res with respect to dx, which you get this is 2x squared divided by 2 plus we have uh, x and then we have plus c. So that is uh, y is equals to, uh, here you can simplify, you get it is x squared plus x uh, plus c. But we are told that the graph uh, passes through this point. So we can substitute those two points, uh, the, this uh, coordinates, to get uh, the value of c. So when y is 6, it is equals to x, we have minus 4 uh, into bracket squared. Then we have plus, uh, we have uh, minus 4, and then that will be plus c. So this is 6 is equals to uh, minus 4 squared is 16, minus 4 plus c, implying that uh, 6 is equals to, this is 12 uh, plus c. You take 12 to the other side because minus c is equals to minus 6 implying y is equals to x we have uh, x squared and then we have uh, plus x and then minus 6 that is the equation and that is how we work out uh, uh, part 1 so let's have a look at part 2 Roman number 2 <coughs> we are told the values of x the values of x at which the curve casts the x axis so we have uh, have uh, our function is equals to y is equals to x squared plus x minus 6. So this is a, this means where the graph cuts the x-axis, if you take that is uh, uh, our our Cartesian plane, that is x and this is y, uh, if we say, that, let's say the graph is like that, you find that uh, at these two points, uh, the value of y is 0. So this means we quit x squared uh, plus uh, x minus 6 is equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. You can get two numbers so that when you add them, you get 1. When you multiply, you get minus 6. So we get x squared uh, plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 is equals to 0 which you can now factor and say x, x um, uh, plus uh, 3, and here you can factor out minus 2, you'll be left with x uh, plus 3 is equal to 0, you get the factors x plus 3, and we have uh, x minus uh, 2 is equal to 0, implying x is equal to minus 3, or x is equals to uh, 2. So this is where the graph cuts the uh, x-axis uh, where the y is 0. So that's how you work out that. Of course you get uh, a mark for getting the factors. Uh, you get a mark for for equating your uh, uh, function to 0 and you get, uh, you get uh, one mark for are solving the quadratic equation. So the, in total, you get three marks. Part three of this question, we are told determine the area enclosed by the curve and the x-axis. Now, in part Roman number two, we have seen that uh, the graph cuts uh, our, our x-axis at minus three and two. So what we do, and we had found our equ uh, equation of our function is equals to x squared uh, plus x minus 6. So for us to get the area, uh, we integrate uh, the limits for minus 3 to 2 
of x squared plus x uh, minus 6 and this is a uh, dx so once you have that then uh, you integrate when you integrate you say this is a uh, you'll be able to get this is x uh, cubed divided by 3 and then we have plus x squared divided by 2 uh, minus uh, 6x and the limits are uh, minus 3 and uh, 2 uh, you run to that when you are doing integration uh, so from there uh, now when you substitute uh, 2 in place of x and uh, you minus the minus 3 when substituted in place of x so you have 2 cubed uh, divided by 3 uh, plus 2 squared divided by 2 minus 6 multiplied by 2 uh, close the bracket and you minus you now substitute minus 3 so it's minus 3 into bracket cubed uh, divide by you divide by 3 and then you have a plus minus 3 into bracket square uh, you divide by 2 and then you have uh, this will be uh, minus 6 multiplied by minus 3 so you can put the bracket there uh, put the bracket there so you can uh, use your calculator to compute those uh, so when you compute you get this is equals to 8 divided by 3 uh, plus 4 divided by 2 minus 12 all this you subtract uh, now you have uh, into bracket minus 27 over 3 uh, then you have plus 9 over 2 and you have uh, plus 18 so you can use your calculator to compute that and you'll be able to get uh, this you'll be able to get is equals to in total you get it is minus 44 uh, all this is divided by 6 uh, minus 81 divided by uh, 6 uh, which is equals to minus 125 you divide by this is a uh, 5 you divide by 6 and that should give you minus 20 uh, 5 over 6 so that is the area square unit and now because we we have uh, area is negative what the negative say I mean is that the area if we draw our Cartesian plane here uh, the area is under the 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 the, the, the function that the x-axis this is our x this is our y so the area is under so you ignore the you ignore the the you ignore the the the, 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 the negative signs and you say area is equals to 20 uh, 5 over 6 uh, square uh, and unit so that that is how you get the area and there you get four marks so of course you get uh, a mark here for uh, that is for substituting for integrating uh, for you get for substituting here you get another mark uh, then you get uh, this working here and finally you get a mark for the answer so but for that is a uh, 20 and 5 over 6 so that's how you solve that problem and you'll be able to get four marks and that is how you work out that question get more of this uh, subscribe to this channel then click this icon to get the notification whenever i produce a new video you can call or whatsapp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class